Box your fucking head off. Who gonna knock the kid off? None of y'all wish one of y'all come to me. Yo, check it out, y'all. It's your boy, one and only Prince, Rockefeller's finest, P Crack. I'm back. And it's on and popping. I'm chilling with my boys, Blow Magazine. It's going down, Rockefeller in the building, state property in the building. You know, my album coming soon, so it's about to get real big. I was down for a minute, now your boy back. Straight from North Philadelphia. North Philly, if you get this real good right there. I'm from Northside, the worst part of North Philadelphia. I'm 26 and I've been spitting since I was probably, probably 10 years old, 10, 11 years old. 16, 17 is when I start really feeling the competition and you know what I mean? And start going all around the city, just smashing niggas out. Mind with niggas in school, bust they ass, bust everybody ass in school. Then I just go to different hoods, go to my manhood, he spit, he take me around his way down West Philly or somewhere, bust they ass, and to niggas just start talking like, yo, you, you see the little nigga Petey? My name back then was Pedro, Pedro Tequila. And one of my rhymes, I, I said Petey Cracko, like Benny Blanco. And ever since I said that one of my rhymes back in the day, the nigga just ran with it and just kept calling me P.D. Cracko like Benny Blanco. So I said, fuck it, I'm switching to P.D. Crack. Just cut the O off, you know what I mean? Niggas don't know that, don't nobody know that. It's I'm half black and Puerto Rican, and I'm speaking so that you know. I got involved with The Rock maybe two years ago. No, let's say three years ago. 2001, I just came home from prison. Every day in the yard, like in 2001, I used to rhyme in the yard. Uh, busting they ass as usual. I had met a guy in jail named um, Carmen. We used to call him Cam, God rest his soul. He used to be like, damn, you hot as shit. Like, I want... I want to introduce you to my mans. And that's when Freeway Manager was managing me. Because me and Freeway from the same hood. We all grew up together. See, what people don't know is, me and Freeway used to be the, used to be in so much competition with each other when we was young boys. I knew Free since I was like six years old. Make a long story short, I come home, go to a halfway house. I'm living in the halfway house. I call my grandma from the halfway house. She likes some guy named Carmen call. He comes home like a month later after me. So I get with him. He takes me down to um, down South Philly to meet Anthony and Lewis introduced me to them, and from the first day I met them, it was on. They had a studio, Anthony had a studio in his basement, so he let me record some joints and they was slamming. I was digging how them niggas was moving with me and everything I needed them to do, they was rocking with me. So I said, bet, you know what, I want y'all to manage me. You know what I mean? I need y'all to manage me, cause I'm, cause I'm hot as fuck and all I need is somebody behind me to really give me that uh, and some financial back and to just make sure I'm always in the stool and just doing my fucking thing. I step on stage, the drugs boo too much. I step on stage, the drugs boo too much. I step on stage, the drugs boo too much. I guess it's, I, I, I guess it's, I, I guess it's cause I rock like I ain't give a two fuck. My mama say, PD, sweetie, you done blew up. I knew old Skeen on Sparks years ago. And I used to always bump into O. I used to always rhyme with O. And O used to always be like, yo, I want to do a song with this nigga. He used to always be like, yo, where the Puerto Rican boy at? So I find, I see O at a, bas a celebrity basketball game, getting my number, and called me the next day, the very next morning, like, yo, what's up? Like, yo, I'm about to come meet you at the studio. He comes and meets me. We do the song called How Many Niggas Gonna Ride For Me. We let Sparks here, and Sparks got on it. The Sparks did it. It was a rap. The song was banging. It was us three on it. They take it up, NYC, let Dame Dash hear it. Dame loved it. They, Sparks called me like, yo, crack. This nigga won't stop playing the song. He played it over and over. I'm like, all right, bet. So I'm hyped. Like, bet. That's what's up. Then he calls me again like, crack, this nigga want to meet you. He want to have a meeting with you. Then he called me like a day later. Like, yo, check this out, crack. If you could get a plane ticket out Miami, you come out here and stay in my hotel room. And I and I set the meeting up out here. So I called my management, um, Louis Farlow. Lou said, I'll call you right back. And he called me back in like 15 minutes and was like, yo, you flying to Miami tomorrow morning. So pack your shit. I fly out there by myself that morning. Meet up with Owen Sparks. Beans got Dame Air. Like, yo, that's the nigga Pete Crack over there. Like, that's the young boy from the song that you heard. So Dame come over, he walk over to me, and he like, yo, let me talk to you for a second. Took me out in the, in the room and was just like, like, yo, I want you to be a part of my family. I was like, I'm with it. He said, when we get back to, to the cities, I'm gonna send you a contract. You want Rockefeller. And it sound kind of bullshitish a little bit, because it happened too fast. So I'm like, oh, whatever. Like, four contracts got passed back and forth until we picked the one, the right one. And from there, it was on and popping. I'm not gonna say this album for everybody. You know how everybody feels this is this album for everybody, huh? Nah, this is an album for everybody that fuck with crack. You know what I mean? Out of all the mixtape shit you hear, and all the flip sides and the fall back, and when you hear that, all that shit, all that freaky shit I be twisting out on them, this, the album's just gonna be the big bonanza for y'all niggas. Big shout out to Blow Magazine. It's your boy, we live in North Philly. 
doing how we want to do, man. Your boy Peak Crack the Prince. I've been in the stew all motherfucking day. And guess what? I'm being in the stew all motherfucking day tomorrow. And the day after that, busting y'all fucking ass. We're going to get more paper. And just keep your fucking eyes open, nigga. Peak Crack the Prince, rock star. All right? Low magazine. One.